Hello, hello, it's Miles Pitcher, Superior Lending. Uh, happy to bring you another tip this week. Um, this may seem like a boring topic, or maybe you know all about it already, but there are some cool things that you can do with this topic today. So we're going to be talking about how long is your mortgage rate good for? And I'm not talking about the life of the loan, the 30 years. I'm talking about while your file is being underwritten and when do we lock in your interest rate and what can we do with that to benefit the client? So, but first I want to show you guys where rates are at right now. Um, you can see back here last week, um, they came out with some really heavy duty inflation numbers. And we talked about that on last week's show and explained what effect that's having. Um, and so if you didn't see that, go watch that and learn about the inflation. Um, yesterday, the Federal Reserve came out and talked about saying, hey, the supply chain is still kind of a bottleneck, right? And you guys are seeing that with lumber, all the building materials. Um, there, there is a bottleneck and they don't see that getting resolved soon. And they hinted at that they may raise the federal funds rates sooner than they expected. And or they may start tapering off buying mortgage backed securities, which is artificially keeping rates lower. In other words, they there's a chance that rates may rise sooner than we have expected. Um, that's why yesterday is all red right here because of those comments and that little gold arrow right there says signals to us to lock in the rates on our clients, um, which is what we're going to talk about today is rate locks. So number one, just understand that generally speaking, if it does not specify on a mortgage quote, uh, usually everybody's talking about a 30 day lock and that is kind of the standard in the industry however there are additional periods available from 15 day 30 day 45 all the way up to 180 days um, i put these in different colors um, because number one if you go to a longer lock it becomes more expensive and to the client, that translates into a little bit worse of a rate. It's not so bad at 45 and 60 days, but once you start getting into the 90, 120, 180, it can really affect the rate. Um, conversely, if the client says, hey, I want a little bit shorter of a lock to get a slightly better rate, they can do a 15 day lock. And that's just the same thing here. The client, why take a shorter lock? The client wants a better rate, but they are also willing to take the risk of rates getting worse on them or better. So 15-day um, locks do happen on them. Um, now, the longer locks, why would we do this? And this is really one of the keys I want you guys to be aware of today, because a lot of you are taking your clients and putting them into new construction. And the preferred lenders for the builders will most likely never do any locks longer than 30 days. They wait till they know that home is getting done um, and putting them in there. I talk to a lot of clients and I would recommend that anybody you have who's building and it's going to take a while, come in and see us. Because on new construction, if you think rates are going to go up, wouldn't it be smart for you to put in an insurance policy to get a longer lock in, maybe 90 days out, 120 days out and lock in that rate? Um, does it cost a client anything if rates are the same or better by the time we get to closing? Or I should say when we get 30 days of closing, not at all. Um, so. Think of it this way. We lock a client in 120 days from when construction is going to be finished. They have a great insurance policy. If rates move up on them, man, they are happy. They have locked in a great rate. What happens if rates are better or have gone down from when we put in that longer lock? 
we have two options. Number one, we can do a float down, um, and there's a lot of nuances with that that I'll talk about on another video. Or I have the ability to move that client from one of my lenders to one of my other lenders and do a nice 30-day lock and get them a better rate. So it's really a free insurance policy for these clients who are doing new construction. Um, I know that there are incentives from the preferred lenders, but in my opinion, it would be better to give up a $3,000 incentive to make sure that you have, you know, at the time you, you have a longer lock locked in and maybe that results in a quarter percent better interest rate, maybe even more depending on where rates go. But if you believe or your client believes the rates are going to move up in the future, and I believe that too, they should look at a longer term lock and get that put in place. Um, I hope that makes sense. I, I, I think it's really important that our new construction clients understand that. All right. Um, again, always, every client deserves to know what every fee means, and they should have options when they are shopping around for loans. So let me know if you have any qu other questions. I, I hope that makes sense. Um, many times with locks, it's just, I know realtors don't get involved in that, but I want you guys to be aware that your new construction clients should be looking at longer locks as an insurance policy. Um, hope you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Miles Pitcher, Superior Lending.